So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Tarisco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about binary conversions. Now why, why do we need binary conversions? So first of all when you talk about computer it understands only one language right which is binary language. So either one or zero. So you cannot communicate with a computer using uh, using normal numbers, using, uh, using uh, English, you have to use binary numbers right, one and zero. So even if you want to say five to a computer. Now computer will not understand 5, right? So you have to convert that number 5 into a binary format, which is the, un the answer is 1, 0, 1, right? But question arises, how do we find, I mean, let's say if I give you any number, how will you convert that number into binary format? So it's very simple actually, what you have to do is, let's say we have any number here. So let's take uh, maybe 9, so let's take this number 9, okay? So let's find the binary conversion of 9. So the steps are very simple. What you have to do is you have to create, I mean you have to divide this number 9 by 2. Okay, so we have to say 2 into 2, okay, no, not 2 into 2, but 2 into 4 will give you 8, right? The remainder is 1. Then 2 into 2 will be getting 4, the remainder is 0. Then 2, 1, 2 into 1 is 2 and the remainder is 0. And then we have two into zero will get will give you z will give you zero. The remainder is one, right? And you have to go upwards. So the output, so the uh, binary conversion is one. So it is one zero zero one. That's the output you got. Okay. So yeah. So you have to divide the number by two, and the remainder will be coming on the right side. And you have to go upwards, and you have to read it upwards. So it is one double zero one, right? So that's the binary conversion of nine. Let's take another number. Let's say we don't have 9. Let's say we have, let's say, 11. So the next number is, let's say, 11 we have. So we have, so we have to divide that number 11 by 2. Okay, so we have to say 2 into 5 will give you uh, 10. So the remainder is 1. 2 into, oh, hold on, that's what, what is that? So 2 into 2 will give you 4. The remainder is 1. 2 into 1 will give you 2. The remainder is 0, 2 into 0 will give you 0, the remainder is 1 and you have to read upwards so the answer is 1, so it is 1, 0, 1, 1, that's the output you got, okay, so you got 1, 0, 1, 1. So that's how you, do, that's how you find a number from decimal system to binary system. So when you say decimal system, so basically when you talk about normal numbers, we always work with decimal system, right, example, uh, when you say 58, so this is a decimal system, so we have a base of 10. In binary system, we have we have to use a number, okay, we have to use a number whose base it will be 2. And to find that number, we have to use, we have to use this technique which we have done here. Okay, you have to divide that number by 2 and you have to find all the remainders and you have to read upwards. Okay, and you can try it by yourself also. I will give you some numbers to practice and let me know the answers in the comment section. Uh, so let's say number is, again, we'll go for 58 first. So that's your first number. Then 12, then 16, and then 25, and then uh, 31. So find the binary, binary conversion of this number. Okay, so we have to convert a number from decimal to binary. We have to use this, we have to use this format here. Okay, now let's say once we got the number which is in the, which is in uh, binary format, I want the decimal format of it. Okay, so what we'll do is let's take one other one more example where we'll convert a particular number from from binary to decimal, and we'll go from sorry from decimal to binary, and then we'll go for the, from binary to decimal. Okay, so let's take a number which is um, okay, which number twenty four. So let's go for twenty four. Uh, it will be very easier, right? Let's let me go for 26, which will be difficult. Not difficult exactly, but 26. So, what we'll do now is let's convert this number. So again, we have to divide this number by two, right? So the we we got, we'll be getting 13, and the remainder is zero. Then two, uh, so it is six. The remainder is one. Then two into three will be getting the remainder zero. Then two into one will give you two. The remainder is one. Then 2 into 0 will give you 0, the remainder is 1. Okay, and you have to read upwards. So, which is 1, 1, 0, 
one zero. So that's your number, which is in which is in binary format, right? So we got the number from decimal system to binary system. So the system says when you have a number in okay, when you have a number in decimal system, you have to convert that number into binary system. You have to divide by two, right? You have to divide the number by two. That is that is division sign. It doesn't look like a division sign, right? But it has a division sign. Okay, and now we have to find the decimal format from binary system. So when you say you have to find the decimal system from binary system, you have to to have to use the power of two. So from decimal to binary, you have to divide by two, and from binary to decimal, you have to use power of two. Now what exactly it means? So you have to start from the left, right, or right hand side to left hand side. So you have to come, you have to come this way. Okay, so you have to use this zero. So zero will be two raised to zero. Then it will be two raised to one. Then this will be two raised to two. This will be two two raised to three, and this is two raised to four. Okay, so you have to for every particular number you have to give the power. So two raised to so ignore all zeros. So ignore all zeros. Only focus on one. So we have one here, right? Which is two. So two raised to one is two, and we have one. So two into so two, and then we have to say plus. Then focus on this one because this is this is one, right? So the value is one. Two raised to three is eight, plus two raised to four is sixteen. So when you say sixteen plus eight plus two, which which gives you twenty six. So we got the same number, right? So when you want to find the binary conversion, so divide the number by two. And when you want to find the decimal from binary, you have to use uh, the power of two. So that's it from this video. Let me know if you want some more videos on on binary conversion. This is just a test video. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure to subscribe the channel for more videos.